Great, welcome back. So we've introduced Quick Fix Application R&D. We've gone through a brief uh, intro as to what it is, the engine, how it works, what languages it's available in. We've gone through variable definitions uh, that are required for implementing anything in Quick Fix. We've gone through configuration for applications, so how to go about structuring a project, how to go about configuring your application with various different parameters, session level and administrative. We've gone through the logic, code, and structure of a quick fix application. And we've then had a short video tutorial on certain examples using C++ and Python. These examples being very brief and have been taken from the quick fix engine website. Now we're going to embark upon creating our own quick fix application. And for that, of course, we'll need to define two things in the beginning. What programming language are we using? And do we have the necessary libraries installed for that programming language? In our case, for these tutorials, we'll be using Python. So we'll need to have quick fix for Python installed. As you probably remember from previous tutorials, there are a number of ways of installing Quick Fix uh, for Python. In our case, we'll be using pre-built wheel archives, and these are available to you from lfd.uci.edu forward slash colk forward slash Python libs. This repository is uh, for unofficial Windows binaries for Python extension packages, and is maintained by Christopher Colk, Laboratory for Fluorescence Dynamics, the University of California, Irvine. Here, what we'll need to do first is simply do a search for Quick Fix, and um, we'll arrive at the local tab that has all the libraries. You need to download the file that corresponds to two things, your Python version and your system architecture. So in this case, we have Quick Fix 1.15.1 CP37. Let's go ahead and check what our Python version is. So let's just type Python dash dash version, and that will reveal to us that we're running Python 3.7.3. .3. So in this case, we're going to choose Quick Fix CP37, and then comes our system architecture. You need to identify whether you're using a 32-bit or 64-bit architecture. In my case, I am using a 64-bit architecture. So we'll download this file. Click on it to save to default browser downloads or anywhere else of your choice, really, and hit save. Then let's go back into our terminal here. The file is downloaded in the background, and now we need to install the file. This is easy to do via the following command. We simply go pip install and the path to the file. In my case, I'd saved it in download, so we'll simply go to downloads. So it was like quick fix 1.15.1 CP37 onwards to AMD64.whl and simply hit enter. This will begin installing the pre-built wheel archive. It's possibly the easiest way to install Quick Fix. If this works for you, great. If not, then you can always download source code from PyPy, which is accessible here. So we simply go PyPy Quick Fix, the Python package index. And here you can attempt to install via pip install, or you can download the actual source code from the Python package index and install it from source via the setup.py file. So these are the two ways, pip install quick fix, one that we covered in a previous tutorial. And of course you can go to download files, download the source code and install from source. Going back to our terminal, now that we have quick fix installed, we need to ensure that it is installed correctly. So we'll simply enter our Python environment here and try and import the modules that we're interested in. In this case, these modules are import quick fix. Let's import that as fix. That works correctly. Now we go to import quick fix 44, which corresponds to version 4.4 of the fix protocol. We'll need this for a certain specification of certain parameters later on. And these will be fix 44. Let's call that fix 44. And that's it. So we have our environment. We can further check that everything's fine by attempting to look at certain options inside IPython once we hit the dot. So I had to interrupt that search as that was taking a fairly long, given all the possibilities after the dot, probably not a good idea in hindsight. And now we simply hit tab after an MA and that gives me all the options for MA corresponding uh, contents of fix 44. So this is exactly what we need. We need to just ensure that everything is installed correctly and that's it. So we simply go away now. And uh, now that we have quick fix installed, it's time to start building our application. See you in the next tutorial. As always, if you enjoyed this presentation, please do consider sharing it with your social networks, colleagues, coworkers, and friends. And do subscribe to the DarwinX YouTube channel so you remain up to date with all future videos that will be released in this series and other topics discussed on DarwinX. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.